What's up everyone? So today I'm going to bring you some information about ADS, which stands for Alternate Data Stream. And it's a way a file can be hidden into another file in your Windows operating system. Uh, if you want to do a little research on it through Google, I did, and I come across SANS, and they talk about it in theirs. If you do ADS, they do a little overview about it, Alternate Data Stream Overview. It tells you what are alternate data streams. It says that they have been around since the introduction of the Windows NTFS file system. Basically, ADS can be used to hide the presence of a secret or malicious file inside of a file record of an innocent file. So a black hat on your system, a bad guy hacker, can hide a Trojanized virus or a malicious virus, a rootkit toolkit, any of that can be hidden within a file on your system where you can't find it or see it if you're just a normal person user. Um, and I will be showing you a way they do that in this video and I'll also be taking you to Kali Linux showing you stag hide and how to hide a file in a picture and how to retrieve it and extract it out of the picture which is very useful in CTF challenges. So on that note, let's get this going. We will open up the command prompt for Windows to show you the ADS, the alternate data stream, how to hide a file within a file. I will change directory to my documents. And then I want to make a directory inside of my document. So a make directory, and I want to name this directory uh, my hidden stuff. So now I want to change my directory over to my hidden stuff. So I'm inside my hidden stuff now, and I want to do a uh, DR on that to show you there are no files in that directory right there. Zero. And I'll even go to that directory in my folder, there's where I created it. 801, it's 801. Open it up, there's nothing there. So what I'll do here is I want to create my, say I, I have a hack file, malicious code, a virus, or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and create something to replicate that. So notepad, myhackfile.txt. It's going to open up Notepad. It's going to ask you, do you want to create a new file? I'll hit yes, and this will be uh, my hacking virus. Uh, do some dots. Hat. Control S to save that. And then I want to close that out. I do another DIR on that, and it will show you. There it is, myhackfile.txt. I'll go to my file system, open that up, my hidden stuff. There's my hack file, open it up, hacking virus, hack. So I have that created. Now I want to create an innocent file, a file that's normally visible to you that you can see. So I'm just going to do a, another note pad, and I'm going to name this one uh, nothing to see here, .txt. Same thing, I want to create a new file. Uh, this is my legit file, no hacks here. Control S to save, close it out, do another directory on that, and you'll see that there it is, I created that one nothing to see here, .txt, and there's my hack file, .txt. If I go to my documents I created, I will show you that here. There's nothing to see. That's my legit file, no hacks here. And there's my hack file, hacking virus hack. All right. So now I want to take my hack file and I want to hide it inside of my nothing to see here with an alternate data stream. So in order to do that, I'll do type, now space, my hack file dot txt right arrow to nothing to see here dot txt colon my hack file dot txt 
I hit enter, and that should have hid that file within my nothing to see here file, my legitimate one. If I do another dir, it still will show both files in my directory there. But that hack file, my hack file is now hidden inside of this file, but it's still there. And I'll show it to you, but I'll delete it. Uh, but I'll show it to you real quick. There it is, my hack file. That's the hack file is hacking virus hacked. And it shows my hack file up there at the top. Nothing to see here. Legit file, no hacks here. So what I'll do is I will delete now my hack file.txt. If I do another dir, there it's gone. It's just nothing to see here. If I go back to this, my documents, hidden stuff, there it is, it's gone. It's just nothing to see here. I open that up. It says legit file, no hacks here. So we'll close all that back out. All right, so like I said, you do a dir, you don't see, it's just nothing to see here. That other file is gone, it's hidden inside of this file. So if it was a malicious virus, a code, spyware, ransomware, anything like that could be hidden inside of this legitimate file. And I'll show you that you can pull it out. So in order to pull it out and see that hidden file again, you do a notepad and then nothing to see here dot txt colon my hack file dot txt and there it is it's pulling it out of nothing to see here but there's my hack file that supposedly was deleted if I go here and there it is so there's nothing to see here if I open that up it's my legit file no hacks here but there's my hidden file hiding inside of the nothing to see here, which is the hacking virus hack. All right, in order to show this a little better to you, if you're inside of a directory and you wanna check and see if there's hidden, hidden files using the alternate data stream, you can do a, um, a dir space four slash r, and there it will show it. So there's my nothing to see here, the one that's legitimate that I hid that file in, but now it's also showing my hidden file as an alternate data stream, if you see that part on the back end of it. So that's it. That's how the alternate data stream works within the file system of your Windows, how you can hide a file within a file. I thought that was pretty cool to show. Uh, I, I come across this and wanted to share it with you. So now let's move on to uh, Kali Linux. I have that up and going. So Kali Linux, um, I'm gonna show you Steg Hide, and this is a way that you can solve some CTF challenge, some, some easy CTF challenge. If you're given a picture, this is one way that you can extract uh, data, like a message out of a picture. So what I'll do here is if, if you look, I'll just make this simple too. Go to my files, my pictures, I have a picture of this anonymous symbol. Double click on it. There it is. It just looks like your anonymous symbol. Um, I'll close that out. So in, in your command line, I'm loving the command line. I do uh, CD pictures. It will take me to my pictures directory. If I LS that, it will show me my picture in there, that A-N-O-N-S dot J-P-G. So I want to hide, say I'm a hacker, and I want to hide a message in this picture to send to one of my hacker buddies to let them know what time a hack is going to happen or what time we need to meet for a hacking meeting or, or just a CTF, you know, they're hiding a CTF flag in the picture. So what you'll do is you will open up a uh, text editor, notepad, whatever, and let's create a message. So uh, the hack will happen at six o'clock p.m. tomorrow. See ya. All right, I wanna save that now. Let's rename that to uh, secret.txt. I'll close that out. So now if I ls my pictures directory, 
All right, so it's not there. So let's do uh, a CD back out of that. Do a LS. It should be in there. There it is right there, my root directory. So secret.txt. Let's see if we can't move secret.txt to uh, pictures. LS that. That should be gone now. Let's do a CD into my pictures, LS, and there it is. So let's uh, clear that out to erase some of that, get all that junk out, LS again to see it. So there's my secret text. I can cat it to show you what it says. It's the one that I just created. The hack will happen at 6 p.m. tomorrow. See ya. Okay. So I want to take that message now, and I want to hide it in that picture I showed you. So what I want to do with that is I want to open up Stag Hide and use Stag Hide to hide it. To use Stag Hide, you want to embed the picture. So you can open up Stag Hide and then I think you can do attack H for help or type in help. Yeah. So Stag Hide, tack tack, help. All right. So this will go through and tell you a lot of the, uh, commands that you can use with stag hide um, you can do all kinds of different things with it extract file xf passphrase passphrase so you, you know you can do all kinds of different things with stag hide but that each each thing has a help screen that you can kind of get some information about so um, and it will even give you an example to embed text it gives you examples down here so uh, let's clear that out again to get a fresh screen do another LS to get my stuff. All right, so now I want to embed that message in that picture. So I do a stag hide, and then I want to embed tag CF, and then the ANNOS dot JPG. And then I want to use EF, or no, tag EF. And then my secret.txt. I want all right, so it's asking me for a password now because when I send this picture to someone, they'll use a command to try to open it and it will ask them for a password and then it will give them a message. So I'm just gonna put password as my passphrase. And it wants me to re-enter it. All right, so now you get that message. It says it's embedding the secret.txt in the picture, and it's done. So now I can ls again. It, the secret message is still there. I want to get rid of it now. I want to remove it from that directory and get it out from my system because I want to hide my stuff all the way from my hacker. So I want to get out. Now if I ls, it's gone. But it's inside that picture right there. So I can go to my pictures and try to open that up and see, oh, if I can find it, is it in there? I don't see it, it's not in there anywhere. I don't see no words, nothing like that. All right, so now someone like my other buddy, I sent this picture to my hacker friend, or if you get this as a CTF challenge, either way, you can run this command called stag hide info and do the ANNOS dot JPG. It will give you a little bit of info about it. And you want to try to get information about the data data. You hit yes. Enter the passphrase, password. And it will tell you there's an embedded file in there called secret.txt. The size of the file is encrypted, compressed, yes. So now, all right, so I know there's a hidden embedded file in there and secret.txt, so I checked it. So now I want to pull that out. So if I ls again and show you, there's just a picture in that directory now. I do stag hide and then extract tac sf and then ANNOS.jpg. Enter my passphrase, which was password. Wrote extracted data to secret.txt. So it should have put it in that directory. I ls that directory again, and it will show it right there. I cat secret.txt. 
and I get the message. The hack will happen at 6 p.m. tomorrow. See you. Okay, so I just showed you stake hide, how to embed a message in a picture, and how to extract it back out and get the info about it. There is another tool that you can use to get metadata out of a picture on here. I think it's a uh, tool. Oops. And then I'll do the ANNOS.jpg. Yeah. And that will tell you uh, like some metadata about the picture. So it's a uh, EXIF tool. And then you put the picture, uh, your file name, the version number of what the XFIL tool I'm using, the file size, my file permissions, the file type, file extension, what type of file it is. Uh, so it just gives you a little bit of metadata about it. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I, I wanted to show you that because uh, that, that will help with some CTF challenges. Uh, I got a bunch of more videos that I'm going to be doing. It's just hard for me right now. I'm in the process of moving. We just bought a house. So I'm trying to set up my, uh, once we get moved in, I'm going to set up like this little studio for me to be able to do more of these and make them a little bit more better. Uh, I got a bunch of CTF challenges I can go through, show y'all how I solved them. Um, it, it's just a bunch of more stuff I can do and show you once I get set up. Uh, I can go over a bunch of tools that I have too, uh, that I've ordered from Hack5, uh, the OMG cable, the malicious cable detector, my Wi-Fi pineapples, uh, the bash bunny, the rubber duckies. I, I have a bunch of that stuff that I can go over and show you how they work uh, and how they're used. So uh, I hope y'all enjoying these videos. I'm trying to make them short as possible and trying to go over as much as I can and more in depth and explain stuff. Um, but yeah, so if, if you're liking this, hit that subscribe button. That will help me out and will help me produce more stuff and come out with better stuff. But like I said, once I get moving and set up, it should be a big difference. On that note, I'll leave y'all with that. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all have a good night. See y'all soon.